Talkies, 1930s mid 1940s The first Indian sound film was Alam Kara, 1931, Ardeshi Rani. He also produced South India's first sound film, the Tamil Telugu bilingual talking picture Kalpas, 1931, H. M. Vedi. Juma E. Shashti was the first Bengali talkie. Chittur Nagaya was one of the first multilingual filmmakers in India. East India Film Company produced its first Telugu film, Savitri, 1933, C. Pulla Ia, adapted from a stage play by Ma Ilava Rimbalar Bharti Samajan. The film received an honorary diploma at the second Venice International Film Festival. Jyoti Prasad of Kuala made his first film Jomoti, 1935, in Assamese, and later made Indramalati. The first film studio in South India, Dhargasanitum, was built in 1936 by Nidamarti Surya in Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh. The advent of sound to Indian cinema launched musicals such as Indra Sabha and Devi Deyani, marking the beginning of song and dance in Indian films. By 1935, studios emerged in major cities such as Madras, Calcutta and Bombay as filmmaking became an established industry, exemplified by the success of Devdas, 1935. The first color film made in India was Kesan Kandia, 1937, Moti B. Mishwa Mohini, 1940, was the first Indian film to depict the Indian movie-making world. Swamikanu Vincent, who had built the first cinema of South India in Kolimbatu, introduced the concept of tent cinema in which a tent was erected on a stretch of open land to screen films. The first of its kind was in Madras and called Edison's Grand Cinema Megaphone. This was due to the fact that electric carbons were used for motion picture projectors. Bombay Talkies opened in 1934 when Prabhat Studios in Pune began production of Marathi films. Sultukaram, 1936, was the first Indian film to be screened at an international film festival, at the 1937 edition of the Venice Film Festival. The film was judged one of the three best films of the year. However, while Indian filmmakers sought to tell important stories, the British Raj Band Roth, 1930, and Ra Itubidda, 1938, for broaching the subject of the Indian independence movement. The Indian Musala film, a term used for mixed genre films that combine song, dance, romance, etc. arose following the Second World War. During the 1940s, cinema in South India accounted for nearly half of India's cinema halls, and cinema came to be viewed as an instrument of cultural revival. The Indian People's Theatre Association, IPTA, an art movement with a communist inclination, began to take shape through the 1940s and the 1950s. IPTA plays, such as Nivinyar, 1944, prepared the ground for realism in Indian cinema, exemplified by Kwaj Ahmad Abbas's The P.K. Lyle, Children of the Earth, 1946. The Iftar movement continued to emphasize realism in films Mother India and Piyasa, among India's most recognizable cinematic productions. Following independence, the 1947 partition of India divided the nation's assets and a number of studios moved to Pakistan. Partition became an enduring film subject thereafter. 
the Indian government had established a films division by 1948, which eventually became one of the world's largest documentary film producers with an annual production of over 200 short documentaries. Each released in 18 languages with 9,000 prints for permanent film theatres across the country.